2015 Mastercraft Pro Star. It's both sitting in their red and white color combination. Color match single axle Mastercraft factory trailer. Red bimini top option on here. Great looking boat. And it is in amazing condition. Low hours, I think it's got 135 hours on it. On the 5.7 liter Ilmore engine. Definitely a really sharp boat. Some cool lines to it. And a great ski boat as well. Some cool little detail on the exterior. Got the red Mastercraft badging. Mastercraft logo on the uh, step pad on the swim deck. And also the red Mastercraft lettering and badging on the exterior sides. It does have the cutoff windshield. Get a close look at this Bimini. Clips in here, locks up top. And gets you some nice coverage for the driver and uh, whoever's sitting in the love seat. Boat is technically an open bow, but it has this hood that mounts on here to cover the seats up if need be. I know that the prior owner never took that hood off, so those seats in the bow look brand new. Um, I won't flip that open in the video. Uh, I don't think I can do it with one hand, <laughs> but be sure to check the photos out of those seats. They look great. And of course, the signature Mastercraft pickle fork they did on this Pro Star as well. Windows also have a little bit of tint on there. Hope you can see that really nothing to point out on the uh, exterior body of the boat um, this did sit on a private ski lake it was kept on a lift and the only times it was out was when they were going skiing so really the only signs of wear you'll see on the exterior um, you'll see some scrapes in this swim deck probably from slalom ski fins and just a couple you know light marks around the edges nothing into the fiberglass just some scuffs let's go ahead and hop inside and check out the interior which is in awesome shape got the red and white combo coming through into the inside as well the touch of gray on the seat bases you kind of see that on those back two seats in the corners on the transom got the seat deck step pads which open up into these storage lockers underneath and there's pretty much there's step pads and a couple areas down the gunnels as well. Same thing on this side. Good spot for your rope, gloves, that type of stuff. Um, also in the interior, they have the decadence flooring. So I'll get close up on that when we hop inside. But there is also split right through the middle for you to walk in and out of the boat. A nice step coming in. Two seats in the back are removable and I don't think they kept these in the boat because there was never really anybody in here um, when you're skiing so these two seats are like brand new in the back um, let's get a look at this decadence flooring it's like a squishy floor feels good on the feet and it just pops right out if you want to remove it reveals a fiberglass floor. JL speakers in here. 
believe there's four of those. Make up your stereo, uh, fusion head units on here. Nice Mastercraft logos down the side. Um, there is four spots for ski storage in here. So you've got these ski racks. You step on this plate here. See those pop down. Release to clamp down on the skis. Kind of a cool idea. Let's hop up here and get a look at the love seat. So, nice seating all the way across next to the driver. There is a jump seat back, which I'll show you how that works here in a second. But, flip that up. You've got storage up under here, obviously. Got the cover jammed in there now. And then when I talk about the jump seat, lift this latch here. And that seat back, or adds a seat back for the uh, person in the center. You can get it out of the way if you're wanting to get up into the open bow. And that simply slides right back into place. Got a hatch to the battery door and the walkthrough. Obviously, <laughs> can't see it too well, but open bow seating up there. Um, if you go with the um, if you go with the open bow setup, there's also this air dam that slides in. Um, if you want to keep the wind from coming through, um, that's obviously got the nice Mastercraft logo etched into it as well. Um, it's nice as well. They put the sea deck on the nose, so if you park this thing at a dock or uh, coming up to drop somebody off or pick somebody up, you can walk on that and not scratch your fiberglass up. Love box is going to have our charging ports and our fusion head unit. I believe this port is USB for music. Couple cup holders up here. If we come over to the driver's side, we've got a stereo controller, charger, it's a little storage area. We've got the drain plug in right now. Also another glove box with charge ports on the driver's side. This is set up with heated seats and the heater outlets in here. So we've got that, a couple other ports throughout the boat, um, but all the seats are heated, including drivers and love. Screen controls over on the right, we'll go through those in the video. Kind of a cool interface for jumping, ski, uh, slalom skiing, tricking, etc. Uh, with an analog gauge over here on the right by the throttle. And a couple of dials to control your bilge, nav lights, things like that. Nice big driver's seat on this thing. Offers quite a bit of uh, space. Good leg room underneath. And I believe the seat back is adjustable with that handle down there. Also have the GoPro tracking ski pylon. So hook the rope up here, clip it through there. GoPro will film and follow the skier. And lastly, let's get a look at this 5.7 liter Ilmore engine. It's got 135 hours on it. Um, we have serviced it, changed fluids, filters, things like that. And it is good to go for a whole season. We do have the automatic fire extinguisher in here as well. It's a nice little feature. But uh, super clean in there. Looks about as brand new. It looks brand new. I mean, this thing's showroom new aside from those couple bits on the uh, platform there. Pull that down. Get one last look at this thing before we end here. 
If you have any questions, give us a call. Um, come down and see this thing. It's in awesome condition, especially if you're a serious slalom skier. Um, you're going to get a really nice ski wake out of this. Um, and get a really nice boat that's been well cared for. Uh, give us a buzz in 3 Boatworks, 317-845-9253. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.